Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We are on day three here on Cyan Beach, just enjoying a chill week after the event is over, waiting in between events, as it were. And we are going to start off with 28,000 sneaky snacking. Very nice. Very good. We're also going to grab one small dream cluster for going to bed on time, which we do need those very desperately. Uh, we do know now that the pod expansion is happening and it's going to be very expensive. Still don't know exactly how expensive, at least I don't know yet. I'm sure the information may be out there somewhere, but I don't want to, you know, depress myself with that information just yet. So I haven't looked for it, but I'm sure it's going to be very expensive and we are going to need those clusters. We are, however, at Ultra 2 on a bright side with uh, Ultra 2 just for sneaky snacking and the three extra tasties we've gotten this week. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, you know, not too bad, considering we're just hanging out, not really trying. Uh, that is the power of high-level Pokemon. Let's go ahead and get breakfast done. We'll get our one little sausage meal. Speaking of uh, extra tasties, let's see. Let's see if we can get uh, another extra tasty on one sausage meal. Probably not. Not this time. Maybe next time. We'll see. 164 strength gain from this dish. We are powering through the ranks, let me tell you. All right, let's get this done and out of the way now that my uh, smooth brain is satisfied with the dumb humor. Let's go ahead and move on. Let's grab our... Uh, you know what? I do want to... Where's Raiko? Let's go ahead and just see double skill trigger there we go finally got a double skill trigger times 12 help from everybody that's good all right uh somebody had candies it was you let's collect those candies and now let's uh not accidentally click on Dedenne. we don't want to do that 100 sleep points is what we're going to get for uh getting a full night's sleep that's going to put us at 6061 for our total sleep points and for the daily lottery, we can pick up something very nice. Oh, no, we can't because uh, my item pocket is full. Um, so let's go ahead and cancel. I remembered this time to just scroll down. The item pocket expansion. Your bag can now hold 20 more items. Worth it. Worth it. Another dream cluster. No, a biscuit. Nice. We do need biscuits too. Biscuits, dream clusters, all of that. We need them desperately. So let's uh, go ahead and move on. Let's jump into the sleep report. See what happens with... Uh, ooh, we got some news. I see a little icon down there. Is there some news that I am not aware about? We'll find out a little bit later. But for now, let's see. Session 430, October 1st. Nine hours, 20 minutes of sleep next ooh, it's looking kind of balanced all over the place that's definitely a dozing though 18 percent dozing yeah um okay so let's see ultra one we're probably not gonna be too high in the drowsy power yeah 11 almost 11.7 million only six spawns that that sounds about right probably nothing new Except for maybe a shiny. A new shiny would be cool. But let's see. Let's see what we got. I see what looks like a manky paw there. Bellsprout manky, Chikorita, Ekans manky, um, Gulpin. Yeah, that's about it. Not a whole lot. No shinies. No shinies at all. We did find a, a random Chikorita though. We could try to catch that. Chikorita, is that what we want to try to catch? I mean, Ekans would be good, too. Ekans would be good, too. Uh, I mean, we know poison berries. Dragon, poison, and bug is all that's left. Yeah, so we know poison berries aren't going to have an island for a while, so we got some time. We can wait. Let's, um, let's just feed the biscuit. The bonus biscuit. Didn't, uh, didn't get a big hit. That is unfortunate. I was hoping for a big hit there. I don't want to use any Poke Biscuits with OGPP right around the corner. There's really, really no need to waste biscuits unless there's something we really want or need. And uh, nothing here. Nothing here is really all that great for me at the moment. 
but that is to be expected. We were just hanging out at the beach, just chilling, sipping on a Mai Tai or something, you know, just having a good time. For now, hmm. I'm gonna send out Bell Sprout candy. Honestly, I feel like Bell Sprout is more helpful than Chikorita, but you know what? No, let's send out the Chikorita candy because it's it is very helpful. It's just more rare. But let's send out the Chikorita candy. Never mind. I take it back. I take it back. Bell Sprout generally more helpful, but easier to find. So people probably have enough candies. Research XP 610 with 1,095 Dream Shards. Those are rookie numbers. We gotta get those up. That's that's bad. That's real bad. But uh, yet again, another day where we don't catch anything. Another 471 sneaky snacking, though. Um, I was trying to see, hoping that Raikou would get a skill trigger by the end of the video, but I doubt it because we got two. I do know that Raichu does not have a skill trigger, so we can see what his inventory is looking like. And uh, I mean, it's looking pretty good. Not quite to the level that that Primeape was a couple weeks ago when we overstacked Primeape a little bit but it's getting close so that is very nice also another very nice thing uh by the time this video releases ogpp should be available to anybody who wants to use an easy travel ticket to go there speaking of easy travel ticket it is now the beginning of the month the shop is reset go buy your easy travel ticket and or master biscuit and or poke biscuits whatever you want to buy from the shop uh since it has reset but let's see we do have new news okay so this is from yesterday the new oh no this is from today wait what oh they're both from yesterday never mind we did go over the update contents uh the old gold power plant bundles very very interesting Ooh, ultra biscuit i see in the picture uh oh okay uh, to accompany the Old Gold Power Plant debut event, Old Gold Power Plant bundles, small, medium, and large, will be available beginning October 7th at 1 a.m. So the same time, well, I don't know if it's exactly the same time on the hour that the OGPP event starts, but the same day. Um, we've prepared some bundles that can help you befriend the Pokemon that appear at the Old Gold Power Plant. Between them, these bundles include Aeron Gurabin and Shinx Incense. We hope you will meet Aeron Grubbin and Shinx during the event using these incense in the areas where these Pokemon appear. Cool. Don't give us a summary of what's in it. Just give me the list. All right. So available October 7th until October 21st. The bundles, the small bundle, 250 diamonds. That's about normal. Five biscuits, one Aeron incense. Cool. Funny enough, I think Aeron was the hardest one to run into, just based on drowsy power alone. Um, but... Five biscuits, 250 diamonds, not a bad deal. That's not bad. That's uh, basically half off the Poke Biscuits plus a free air on incense. Not bad. Uh, for the medium bundle, 1,200 diamonds. Oh, we are jumping up very quick. Okay, 1,200 diamonds, four great biscuits, 10 Poke Biscuits, one Shinx incense, one Grubbin incense, and 50 Shinx candy. Uh, I don't care about Shinx candy. We're going to see enough Shinx and we're going to get enough candy from friends that 50 Shinx candy doesn't really mean a lot um plus that's like one your first stage evolution and then 10 extra candies whatever i don't care like candies and bundles i really don't care about unless they're handy candies or uh type candies i really don't care maybe you feel different i'm going off on a tangent about how much i hate candies and bundles because it just feels like filler incense um i am but okay uh but yeah I okay anyway let's get back into it four great biscuits 10 poke biscuits one shinx and one grubbin incense those are pretty good I would ignore the shinx candy when you're looking at this bundle outside of the shinx candy this is a pretty solid bundle shinx candy yeah it's just free candy on top whatever uh but not a bad deal for four biscuits for four great biscuits you're looking at um what is it 800 diamonds or is it 1200 I think it's 800 I don't know. I need to go look again. It's been a while since I've looked at the diamond price for Great Biscuits, but I think it'll be 800 for four of them. And then the 10 Poke Biscuits are 1,000 diamonds each. So you are getting a deal on those plus the two incense. That's not bad. Um, if you really want a Shinx and Grubbin incense, it's not bad. I'm sure we'll get some from the event missions. So not really worried about that. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why... I'm, I'm starting to get into like 
hating it for some reason and i don't know why it's not a bad bundle it's not bad so uh let's move on to the large one uh 3, diamonds three ultra biscuits 15 great biscuits one air on one shinx and one grub and incense with 50 air on candy and 50 grub and candy again not a bad bundle but it really should have a good camp ticket in there. 3,000 diamonds is a lot of real world money. You should get a longer term benefit than just biscuits and incense. There really should be a good camp ticket in there. For what it is, it's not bad. It's a bundle that could be better, but it's not terrible. I don't think it's a complete waste of diamonds. I just really wish you got something more long term. There should be a good camp ticket, uh, maybe a couple of seeds instead of the good camp ticket one or a combination of those should be in there for that many diamonds so for that the large bundle is the weakest out of the three in my opinion just because i personally think that they should have something more long term if you're spending that many diamonds the 1200 diamond bundle it's all right it's not bad um i mean Eh, I don't really know what to say. These bundles just aren't hitting like some of the other bundles in the past did. I just don't feel as good about them as some of the others, especially more recently. I feel like the bundles recently have gotten pretty good. And then these bundles kind of seem like uh, outside of the Ultra Biscuits kind of seem like a return to uh, that pre getting better state of the bundles. And I don't really care for it. Um... I mean, really, the 250 diamond bundle is not bad. It's a good way to get some Poke Biscuits if you got some extra diamonds. If you got some extra diamonds for the medium bundle, get that one if you need some biscuits. But I don't think any of the incense is really that necessary for these Pokemon. We are going to find them. They are not very difficult to find outside of the fact that they will be locked to OGPP after the first two weeks. But we're having a greater spawn rate of these Pokemon on green grass we're gonna get some incense from the missions anyway so for that reason i don't think these incense are really that big of a deal in these bundles the biscuits are really where the value of these bundles is at so yeah that's kind of why I, that's probably why i'm not too keen on these bundles because really the only thing that's actually of any value in my opinion is the biscuits so yeah i mean you are getting a deal on the large bus bundle on the biscuits plus three ultra biscuits which is pretty good but not three thousand diamonds all on one purchase kind of good you know i don't know that's just how i feel about it i really don't care for these bundles all that much the small bundle is probably the most interesting one to me uh of course one available per user but if you got 250 diamonds to get some extra poke biscuits why not uh, plus, once we start seeing what the ingredients are on these Pokemon, it may actually be worth it to get an air on incense just to get one more. But ultimately, I just don't find the incense to be that valuable. Before I continue on ranting about this for another 25 minutes, let's go ahead and move on to something a little more exciting because uh, I can feel myself getting getting worked up about that. And I don't know why. I don't know why these bundles are getting to me like this. Anyway, let's move on. Let's get our community reports. Hopefully something very good. We've got 39 community reports with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Very good. 17 that doubled up out of 39. No level ups today. But uh, I was going to say we can get into the meat and potatoes, but we're not doing that because uh, we're just chilling out over stacking. What we are doing is trying to find... Where did our Raikou go? Mm, still nothing. Okay. Um, well, let's uh, let's talk about... I keep talking about these missions and how we're going to get some incense from them. But let's talk about them now that we know what they're going to be. So if you don't want to know ahead of time, feel free to log out and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. But we're going to jump into these missions for the OGPP event. And they are as follows... For getting to basic two, uh, this is week one of the event. For getting to basic two, we'll get a Shinx incense, told you. Uh, Ultra one, Grub and incense. Master one, Aeron incense. So, 
that'll be fairly easy, especially if you're on green grass. You should be able to get all three of these incense very easily. Uh, give out 15 biscuits, it's going to get five small dream clusters, which those are very, very tempting because we do need them. Uh, for using seven incense, you're going to get five small handy candies. Those are very good. And then for going to bed on time three times, you're going to get, I don't know why I said three. I, I, I mean, I do. Yeah, whatever. Five biscuits for going to bed on time three times. There we go. Uh, so that's pretty good. And then for the week two event, event missions, uh, get to basic two, get 30 air on candy, uh, ultra one, 30 grubbin candy and master one, 30 shinx candy. Uh, I kind of like that they're switching it up. Well, no, they just flipped it. <laughs> I was going to say they're switching it up a little bit, but on both, uh, the grub and incense and candy is on ultra one. And then they flipped the, uh, Aeron and Shinx between basic two and master one. So that's kind of funny. Um, but same ranks. So if you get, got to them the first week, you should be able to get to them the second week, provided the meals actually work in your favor. Uh, and then for using 100 candies, we're going to get a friend incense, which we definitely want to make sure we do because friend incense do not come along that often. Those are very good. Uh, and then for going to bed on time three times again, we get five more biscuits. So also very good. And then cook 12 times for five small dream clusters. We will definitely do that because we are going to be trying to get to master one and as difficult as uh, OGPP is looking like it's going to be getting to master one might be a slight issue i'm concerned but not overly so i think we have a pretty decent team i think with this overstack we'll start off pretty well um i just don't know what it's actually going to be like once we get in there and it also depends on what recipe we get hopefully we get something good to help us out uh but keep in mind these events do or these missions do not start until next week so you don't need to worry about pushing if you're going to use your easy travel ticket to go to OGPP this week, just to end the week and get that extra 5%. You don't need to worry about doing these missions now. Don't try to push through the ranks. Um, I would suggest if you are using an overstacking method and you're going to OGPP today, go ahead and save all of your stuff, continue to overstack, and then collect it on Monday whenever the, or not whenever, whenever the event starts. My brain is just terrible today. Anyway. I would collect all of your overstacking on Monday. Don't do it just yet. Don't try to push through the ranks. Just chill out on OGPP, see what you see, and get that 5%. And then on Monday, start really pushing hard. That's what I would recommend. Um, but these missions look pretty doable. And I think for a lot of us, they may even be doable on OGPP. Um, We'll have to see how week one goes. If we end week one and we're only at ultra one, we might have a problem. We may need to go to green grass, uh, but we'll see how far we can get. Keep in mind, the week one missions will still carry over into week two. So if you don't get to master one and you feel like you need to go to green grass just to get to the master one ranks, you can do that on week two uh, and just go to green grass and go through the ranks, get everything you need. And you could again use an easy travel ticket once you've got the missions complete go back to ogpp and finish out the week there and get another five percent map bonus there so that is the thing you could do but if you've got ogpp unlocked you also can get that extra five percent at green grass now too to max it out i don't know that i'd be worried about it though because we're eventually going to have missions there probably the halloween mission is going to be there you can use the halloween event to get to the 65 percent maximum at uh, green grass so that's kind of where we're at decisions to be made but now we know what the events the event missions are going to look like we know we're going to get those incense and to me it makes those bundles even less attractive uh but that's just my opinion maybe you think of them differently maybe uh, you value the incense and everything a little more highly than i do personally i just don't think they're that great it is what it is though everybody's going to look at it differently ultimately it's your game play it the way you want to play it as long as you're having fun that's the important part but before i leave you we're going to feed one more sausage lunch. We're going to see if our extra tasty 50-50 keeps going. Um, I don't even remember if I fed dinner last night, to be honest with you. Uh, I might have, but I don't remember. I haven't really been paying much attention to meals outside of these videos. We didn't get our 50-50, though, so it is what it is.
But all right, uh, that is where we're going to wrap it up today. Not a whole lot going on in terms of my usual gameplay, but we do have the event missions and the bundles announced. Uh, let me know what you think about all of that, whether you think I'm wrong, right? If you agree, disagree, let me know in the comments below. And other than that, thank you for watching the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you do enjoy these videos, a huge shout out to our ace trainers, Flightmaster, Illusion, JP, YT, Husky Star, and Jassy. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and click the link to the... Go ahead and click the join button. I got ahead of myself. I told you my brain was dumb today. Click the join button right next to the subscribe button. While you're down there, click the link to the Discord in the description box so that you can come and join us to talk about Pokemon Sleep. Other than that, y'all have a great night. And until next time, later, dudes.